This is your day two of Harbor at Home programming from Coach Landry. We're going to hit your chest. We're going to hit your tries. We're going to hit your shoulders. Get those bolder shoulders for the beach. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's hit that warm up. Your warm up is three rounds of the ITYW sequence. You'll be pulsing for five pulses in each position. And we'll go over those, okay? Um, three to five inch worms into push ups or knee push ups and ten pass throughs. All right, let's go to it. The ITYW sequence is one of my favorite shoulder stability exercises. So you're going to come down onto your belly. You're going to squeeze those glutes, lift that chest up, but keep your gaze down. And you're going to hit each letter. So with my palms up, I'm going to pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the I. Then I'm going to form the T. My thumb's pointing at the ceiling and pulse up for five. One, two, three, four, five. B Y, the hardest one. One, two, three, four, five. And now pull down into a W. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. For your inchworm push-ups, you all know how much I love these. So, we do them all the time because they're so great. So, inchworm push-up, feel free, like I said, go with the easier variation for you. We are warming up. I'm about to give you a thousand push-ups. So, you know, prime that bod, right? Okay. So, inchworm and two push-up. Really luxuriate, stretch those hammies out, walk your hands out, and give me a beautiful push up, and walk those hands back. Right? Okay. Last but not least, if you have your own PVC pipe that you definitely did not keep from hardware, <laughs> um, 10 pass throughs. So, with pass throughs, right, you want to start wide. And if that was easy, and it was, walk those fingers in just a touch. Walk those fingers in just a touch again until you start to feel a sticking point. Do not bend your Okay, open. friends, part one is one to three rounds, which I know sounds conservative, but just wait for it. One to three rounds of max wide grip push-ups, max diamond push-ups, max incline push-ups and max decline push-ups and wall walks for flavor. Three wall walks. Okay. This is a lot. So I'd love to use this opportunity to just encourage you to rest, right? Take this up and to really rest. Not like 30 seconds, but like rest at least a minute, a minute and a half, right? Because we are asking for max effort. So if you are doing your max amount of push-ups, you're going to need time to rest, right? So, make sure you rest. Your central nervous system will thank you. So, wide grip push-ups. This is another area where I'd like you to start conservatively and then work your way out and see what feels comfortable for your body because wide grip push-ups can be very tough on your shoulders, right? So, I'm gonna have you start with a narrow stance with those hands directly under your shoulders and then you're just gonna inch them out just a little bit. That's a wide grip, right? Come down, touching that chest to the ground. Per usual, make sure you're squeezing your glutes. Nice. Diamond push-ups. These are great. I mean, all push-ups utilize your triceps, right? But diamond push-ups are really great to emphasize these gentlemen. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to put your pointer fingers together and your thumbs together for a little triangle. I'm going to demonstrate on my knees because these puppies are hard. And you're just going to perform a push-up, sending those elbows back, right? I'm hitting my sternum area, keeping that butt tight. Beautiful. Next, incline push-ups. Now, incline push-ups or you know, push-ups at an angle like that are really good if you don't have a full push-up yet. But they're also really good to hit your upper pecs. And since we 
most of us don't have inclined benches at home, this is a great way to hit those upper pecs, my friends. So, go ahead, use a couch, use a table. And I prefer, as you can see, I'm setting my elbows back. I have a very narrow grip, and that's very comfortable for me. But anywhere from a narrow to like a 45 degree angle is nice and safe, right? Incline here. Decline push-ups. Use that surface. Or, if you saw our last hardware at home programming, make the deficit small at first. Use a hardcover book. You know, we don't have to, we're not, we're not superheroes. We gotta advance somehow, right? So, I'm going to use my couch, prop my, my feet up here, and just like all push-ups, I'm going to bring, I should walk my feet forward so it's harder. There we go. Chest is round. Oh, baby. All right, last but not least, in your part one is a wall walk. Is it the same day that I recorded those push-ups? Am I wearing different pants and glasses now? Who's to say what's real? Okay, wall walks. These babies are hard. Find a space in your home that you're not going to ruin. You're gonna start on the ground, my friends. And you're gonna walk up this wall.